Well, hello everyone. Uh, Coppola and family coming back here uh, working on Quentin's truck. And yes, I did just call this Quentin's truck. Um, yes, the boy is uh, 13 years old, but what I'm working on and what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to instill in my kids is a little bit of, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what you want to call it right now. Um, I had a little bit of uh, liquid bread tonight and having a good time. I'm celebrating. I got some good news and I'm just celebrating the night. And I figured I'd be out here tinkering around in the shop. And we got this truck here. I'm going to work on it. And I know I want to instill uh, a good sense of work ethic work ethnic into uh, my children and that's what I'm trying to do and I know a lot of uh, people around here close to me they said uh, Justin we know that you like to do uh, odd and end jobs for everybody but why'd you buy a dump truck well I didn't buy the dump truck for me. I bought the dump truck to start a business for my family. Something I can keep working and keep up the career path that I've chosen for now. Build something for my kids. Now, as you can see here, I know I showed you in my last video that we bought this dump truck and I got a good price on it. I got a very fair price on this truck. It's uh, an Illinois State uh, highway truck. It's got pretty low miles for the year. It's a 2000. It's only got 173,000 miles on it. <coughs> the body is in really good shape. They actually come with uh, seven brand new tires. Got a full size spare over here. It's the uh, 6.5 turbo diesel, and what I'm working on right now is the CDR valve. And I just stopped for a second. I figured I'd drink a beer. This is an easy fix. So, but anyway, the dump truck here, 6.5 liter turbo diesel, low miles. Body is really clean and good shape. The dump box on it has a little wear and tear, not much. It looks like they used it for a hard pack, but it even is in good shape. Don't mind the wood. I had these two pieces of cedar board that I bought at Lowe's last year just because they were on uh, clearance. They only had two pieces laying there on clearance. They were $2.50 a piece. They were 12 foot long. I went ahead and bought them. Uh, you can see I've got eight foot section there. Probably another four foot there. And then there was a couple of those. One of them's outside over top of the trailer, or not over top, underneath the uh, tongue of the trailer. The jack stand of the trailer. <coughs> I did have to replace the panel hitch. Uh, I bought this. The panel hitch that was on it was a 2 and 5 sixteenths, and the panel itself was rusted and didn't want to move. I sprayed it with penetrating oil and tried to work it. It was pretty, I don't know, it was in bad shape, so I went ahead and just replaced it. I, it was a hundred bucks. I mean, come on. Uh, chains and everything on this are in good shape. Uh, this dump box actually, I can lay the tailgate all the way down. I can lay it down level, or I can pull the release on the other side by the driver's door and actually swing it out from the bottom to drop and leg gravel. Another neat feature of this is the side box here that folds down 
and it does fold down flat or all the way so I can reach in with the Kubota I can actually reach in with my Kubota up over top of the board here but if I need to I can lay that down and reach in even further we'll say that uh, moving around here I know my garage is a mess again we've got furniture out here or appliances our basement flooded we're working on redoing a uh, a den in the bottom of the or on the ground floor of our house I'm gonna turn that into a downstairs bathroom slash laundry room get everything brought up out of the basement and give us two full bathrooms instead of the bathroom and a half out here with Tasha just had a birthday last weekend my wife you can see one of her gifts here her ducks she said she wanted a couple ducks so I went and I bought her two ducks she was all happy with them for about 10 minutes she left she went to town said she was going to the gas station 45 minutes later come home she had four more ducks so now we have ducks no, I think I mentioned that in the last video too uh, this side of the truck they did do a little bit of welding and repair on uh, the tailgate of this or not the tailgate the bed I'm gonna sand this all down actually I think I'm gonna paint the whole bed black um, it's all right being red and it's all right in the shape that it's in now just using it to work but I'm gonna go ahead and well, I bought it for my kids. I want my kids to have something to be proud of. I'm going to make some more videos here, having them involved working on this. Um, I'm calling it Quentin's truck for now. Actually, the, the little side business that we're starting is going to be called uh, Quentin's Dad's. Uh, we're trying to decide either Quentin's Dad's services or Copland family services I don't know maybe uh, everybody that's subscribed to us and uh, that I've subscribed to anybody that watches our videos give us a, uh, an idea or something that we can come up with but yeah I going over this truck though and going back to this truck <laughs> I'm sorry but uh I'm overwhelmed. I, I paid $5,500 for this truck. I got a hell of a deal, I believe. I mean, look at the seat right here. The seat and, and the crew cab Chevy that I have, and I've shown it in other videos. It's the one that I took the tool body off the back, put the teal green 8-foot bed on the back of it. It's worn out, and it's got less miles on it than this truck. The lights all work. I, I am extremely impressed with this. Most dump trucks like this in this area, somebody's selling them. They're wanting nine, ten thousand dollars for them. Or if they're cheaper, they've got extreme problems. This just happened to be uh, one of my friends come across. There was a dealership in uh, Salina, Ohio that buys and sells these, these dump trucks. These, Well, not just these little dump trucks, but just equipment. Well, they uh, <coughs> had just bought another, or they just restocked their lot, bought a whole another group of uh, trucks. And they had this one out there. There was three or four more when I went and looked at this one, but they were all posted as sold. Now, they were newer. This was a little bit older. It was older than the rest of them. But the ad that they had posted, they wanted $8,500 for this. Well, they got that new stock in filled their lot and they're looking just to eliminate and get rid of these 
or what they already had because they had the new what they bought or the new inventory they bought from auction well they dropped their price they come down on it I went and looked at this and I talked them down another thousand dollars I'm extremely happy with what I got and what we ended up with and when I pass this on Quentin here in three years gets his license I hope to still have this give it to him and I'm actually gonna put him to work on the Kubota back there and this give him a business of his own to start out with that is my plan I want him my girls to work together as a family the not the family way and don't get me wrong on that most family will screw each other over I don't want that I want to make sure that I teach my kids the correct way but you know how that goes but Quentin being the uh, young man of the house and I just I feel that I want to do something for him up front and I don't know maybe the girls are going to want to go to college maybe Quentin decides he's going to go to college he don't want anything to do with this Cheyenne or Carson decide that hey we want to be uh, one of them decides hey we want to take over we want to we want to get into the land landscaping business so, I don't know I, I'm ranting and raving here not raving I'm ranting on. I have uh, pretty good news to celebrate about that I got today, but I can't really celebrate it, or I can't uh, talk about it, we'll say, just yet. I got to wait another week, week and a half, but eventually I will talk about it. Uh, another thing you'll see here, uh, I bought a tiller for the tractor, and... It is a beast of a tiller. And, I don't know. I, I'm going to see how well that uh, the little Kubota takes care of it or uses it. But it it does definitely feel it when you pick it up. It gets light in the front end. I'm going to start looking at different ways of making uh, or hanging weights on the front end that are cheap and easy. I got the bucket now. I'll probably end up doing something. The cheapest thing is just throwing a bunch of uh, the weights that I already have from the weight bench set in the bucket while I'm using the tiller. But I have uh, an update coming soon on the tire that I ruined. I am still, and I, I apologize. I'm. I know the anticipate anticipation is probably killing you guys but I am still running and using the tire that I ruined it leaks air about every half hour to 45 minutes I got to put air in it depending on if or how much weight I'm putting on the front of the tractor um, I do have an update on that I've spent a lot of money on tools and equipment talking about the dump truck and the uh, tiller I have a friend that has a Kubota tractor, and I think we're going to work out a deal. We'll just say that. So, when I uh, finally get that all worked out and taken and in place, I'll uh, update everybody on that. I am going to take the cheap route. I'm not going to buy brand new R4 tires. Uh, not trying to be a spoiler, but I'm not going to buy brand new R4 tires for uh, the Kubota. I do like the turf tires. I really do. I, any of the riding lawn mowers that I've ever had, I put the ag tires on them. The ag tires are terrible in the snow. The turf tires that I have on this, especially with it being four-wheel drive, it, it does an awesome job. So, I can't I can't complain with what I already have, but I will uh, definitely keep you guys posted. Now, for anybody that's watching and knows anything about diesel motors, 
I'm replacing this uh, CDR valve. I got the brand new one there. Yeah, pretty much it regulates the pressure within the crank or within the crankcase. Anything that's too much, it blows back up through and it recirculates it down through the turbo, back into the intake, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it looks like I've got a lot of oil coming out of the one that was already on it previously, so I bought new. But I'm hoping all this oil is saturated on the front of the, the turbo here going into the intake is coming from that. If any of you are familiar with the 6.5 turbo diesels and you think that I have a little bit of a different issue, please let me know. I'm brand new to turbo engines, or uh, not turbo, diesel engines. As far as working on them, I'm, oh, I went to school for auto mechanics, but I worked on gas engines. I didn't do anything with, with diesel, so... Anybody that has any uh, pointers or tips, let us know. You'll have me or Quentin uh, responding on them. The girls every now and then will respond, but usually if they're responding, it's, it's something to do with gardening or whatnot. They're not as, uh, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not as, uh, involved with the channel as Quentin and I are. There's a lot of times Quentin gets on, checks messages and responds to people and I don't even know that he's doing it. I just get a notification on my phone, hey, I got a response from so and so and then I have to read through the comments and see what was what was commented and what the conversation was. So yeah, just letting you guys know and just, just keeping you guys in the loop and giving you another update. This is where we are and what we're working on now. So we have Quentin's truck and I'm, I'm gonna say Coplin family's truck for now. Quentin turns 16, we get him working, becomes his, yes. But it is uh, also essentially the girls. Kubota tractor, same, it's the family's. It's not mine. It's nice having these toys, but they're family toys. So, Anyway, I just wanted to check in and give you guys a little bit more of an update video. and uh, I, Maybe I've rambled on a lot tonight. But anyway, uh, thanks. God bless. And if you like, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, God bless and have a good one. Bye.